Good morning, budgeting friends. Welcome or welcome back to Work Right Planner, the place where I share all of my financial faux pas so that you don't make the same mistakes I did. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. And if you're new here, pull up a seat and stay a while. We are going to condense my sinking funds today, my cash envelopes. I have 150, 200, 50, $300. Um, available for that and I do have a little bit of bills that I can pull from that need to go to the bank um, if I need to to condense even further so but I think this will probably get us let's start with what should be in my wallet because my wallet is getting a little heavy and let's just condense these down I'm gonna start with my clothing envelope and in case you don't know, all that we're doing is swapping out small bills for bigger bills. That's all we're doing. So in this one, I've got 20, 40, 55, 65, 66, 67, 68. So I can't do anything with the eight. So let's do two 20s, two fives make 50. So we're gonna take one of these 50s. 20s, 10s, 5s, and see, there you go, we've got more money to pull from. And we should have 50, 60, 5, 6, 7, and 8 to go right back into our envelope. And that way the envelope is thinner. That's the whole purpose. Thinner and lighter. <laughs> I don't know that there's, yeah, we can't condense that out. It's just 26. The envelope doesn't have much in it, I don't think. Nope, another one with just 26. The gas envelope hasn't been touched in a minute. It can't be condensed. Groceries, I don't think needs to be, but we can look at it. Got 20, 45, 50. Um, if we come up with a 10, I might swap that out, but it's not doing too terrible at the moment. Joint miscellaneous should have $40, and it does. That's fine. Let's look at Paula's. Thin this thing down. We've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I don't have any tens at the moment, but I can. One, two, three, four, five. Swap that out for a five for the time being until I can find a ten. So we may come back to these after I get some tens if there are any toward the end. And then there's nothing to go to the bank. So that's everything for what's in my wallet, unless we end up with some tens. Now, moving right along. Let's look at, we can't put, do anything here because it's just a $10 bill. Let's look at appliances. This has $125 in it. Uh-oh, we might be able to get rid of that 100 right off the bat. 50, uh, 70, 90, 100. So, uh, let's do 25, and we should have $100 right here. So, I've got 50, 70, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So we're going to put this 100 down here. 50, 20, and there's a 10, but we'll have to come back to that. There we go. And 1. So, we have 120 and 5. And that envelope is much, much thicker now, or thinner, sorry, thinner now. 
I haven't done this in a minute because I did not do it while I was, I was still doing my cash stuffings, but I didn't do a condensing because so many people like the condensings. I saved it for when I could record again. Okay, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> what a robot. It's 257. So there's a hundred. Um, 20, 40, 60, 81. So let's swap these out for 250s. And we're gonna have some 20s in here. Okay, so we've got, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, let's see, we need 57. So let's do five, six, and seven. So this should be 50. So I've got 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. All of those ones. Get another 50 out here. I might have to pull out some more 50s, y'all. Okay, I, I got a stack to pull from. I just didn't think that there was going to need to be anything more than $300 worth. Okay, so I've got 100, 50, 2, 50, <laughs> 5, 6, 7. So, 257. And the litter robot that's going to make that considerably thinner. Back to school. We have 50, 20, 40, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we need 65. So let's do that 10, that 5, and this should be 50. So we got 20, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Look at this. Okay. Let's get some 20s out of there. Getting rid of lots of ones, y'all. So this should be what one it says one fifteen. Okay. So we got fifty, one, ten, fifteen. I should have gotten hundred dollar bills, but I didn't think I needed that many. Okay, what's beauty got for us? <clears throat> 20, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9. Can't condense that. Christ the King Picnic. Uh oh, y'all. I'm going to have to pull out another 50. It's okay. So, pulling out another 50 from my drawer. track of how much money I've pulled out of the drawer now. We started out with 300 and then 50. <clears throat> this was money I needed to go to the bank for something else, but I got paid in different bills, so I figured I'd use it for this purpose before I take it to the bank. Okay, so this one's going to be 70... Seventy-seven. So we want to two ones. Let's see, a five and a twenty, and this should be fifty. So I've got twenty, thirty-five, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, and fifty. And that way, 
that $50 bill. I'm usually not a fan of 50 show, but if it makes my pouches and envelopes thinner, I'm game. Okay, so 50, 75, 6, 7. We are all done there. <clears throat> Date night is going to be 23. There's the 20 in the back, so I can't condense that any. We are done with this one. I don't know why I have this calculator over here. I don't anticipate needing it until maybe when we count later. The 10 can't do anything. Let's look at gifts. Now, there's $58 in here. Um, this one, I know I'm going to be spending money out of soon, so I'm going to leave it as 20s. So, if it's going to be 58, do that one. One, two, three. Actually, let's swap this one out for one of these better ones. Okay. So this should be 20. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So. Pull one of these 20s out. Actually, is there a better one? Let's do this one. I have 20, 40, 55, 6, 7, and 8. Okay. That way it's not as hard to change out whenever I spend it. Okay. Grandkids, I don't think has very much in it. But we'll look. Nope, there's $2. We're good. Um, lawn care, I'm actually not going to condense... I don't think, unless the ones can become a five, but I, I want to keep some smaller bills in there. I made this one into hundreds, and I don't know that I want to do that. Actually, let's do 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. 20, 40, 60, 80, 2. That way, if I have to pay somebody to mow the yard, since we broke the mower, if we break the other one, I've got some money. <laughs> to do that with because it's hard to do that with $100 bills, y'all. So this one I actually want to leave a little much. And this is just four. So I think... Oh, well, hold on. Let's trade these fives for a ten. There we go. So this should have 259. We've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 55, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay. Yeah, this is the only one that I want to keep with several bills in it, and it's because we might have to use it to pay somebody. Okay. This one should have $180. We've got the 100. 50, 70. And this should be 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. Planner, I think, should be a hundred dollars total. 
So we've got 50, 70, 80, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So I'm gonna pull out a $100 bill. Put one of these 50s. Tens, fives, ones. We'll just stick this hundred dollar bill in here. Vacation. We have, I think it's one hundred and seventy eight, one hundred fifty, seventy five, six, seven, eight. Nope, that's as thin as it's gonna get. But, I mean, these bonders are getting considerably thinner. So, that's the important thing. Now for the holidays binder. I think I put this in there backward. Should have thirty-eight dollars. So twenty, thirty-five. Yeah, that's that's as condensed as it's gonna get. Put that in there. What's in here for Valentine's Day? Let's thin this out. This should be thirty-five. Oops. So let's keep a ten and a five. That five. And this should be. 20. So we got 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we'll pull a 20 out. Look at all these 10s, y'all. Okay, we'll so we got 20, 30, and 5. You might be able to hear the alarm going off in Calvin's room. Rooster crowing. Okay, so this one's gonna have 11. We can trade the two fives for a 10. I do like the bigger bills back here, you guys. Let's see what's in here. Two fives. We're going to trade that out for a ten. Mother's Day. I don't know what was left in here. We've got five ten. Maybe I won't have any tens to go back to my wallet. <laughs> That's okay. Those get more use than these do, so these have to be thinner. Okay, we've got 10, 20, 1, 2, 3. Oh, look, we're going to cash some out. It's okay. So, 20, 1, 2, 3. Going back in here. July 4th. Should be 45. There's 40. One, two, three, four, and five. So we'll just pull a five out. Halloween has 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Oh, there's not a 20. I guess we'll have to come back to this if there comes a time that we find a 20. I bet we'll find one in Thanksgiving or Christmas and just come back to Halloween. Oh, that alarm is so hilarious. He's not here today. I'll have to shut it off here in a minute. <laughs> okay, so 20, 40, 50, 5, 60, 1, Three, four, five, six. So let's keep that. Let's 
keep that up. So we need 60. That's that weird 10 that's all. Let me swap out that 10. Okay. So hopefully this comes out to be 50. I've got 20, 40, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, and 1. How did I end up with 51? It should be 67. Oh, because I didn't leave enough ones behind. That's why. Um, let's use that one. Okay. Now, hopefully this is 50. 20... 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So we're going to pull this 50. We've got 20s, a 5, and more 1s. And now we've got 50, 65, 67. That gets Thanksgiving pinned out. And we can go back to Halloween. This is Halloween. Okay. And we're going to swap this for one of those 20s. Okay. So 20, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Actually, this dollar is janky. Let's swap it out. Well, that one's crusty. Swap it out again. Lord, y'all. Does that make anyone else crazy? Okay. And now, Christmas should be fun. Let's see what it's got for us. One, two, three, four. That can't have anything done with it. So we've got two fifties to trade out for that hundred. And we've got twenty, uh, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. One. So we'll keep this 20, and this should be 20. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I'll put these ones toward the front. See how much this should be. 541. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, 41. Okay. And now for the last one. The Hopes and Dreams binder. It definitely needs to be thinned out. All of this is going to go back to the bank. So we're just going to go ahead and pull that out. Um, and it is 120, or two hundred and one dollars. Um, it's gonna be set over here to the side. If I need to pull that hundred out, I can, or anything else in there for that matter, if I need to. Okay, so this needs to go down to being $90. So 
So we've got 20, 40, 60. Um, actually, let's do these two 20s and then I should have 50. So 20, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Okay. So let's pull the 50 out. <laughs> These are getting hard to tell apart. Okay. So I've got 50, 70, 90 dollars for lipedema. Furniture is 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we're going to just pull the $5 bill and condense that a little bit. Home improvement. Should be 120. We've got 100, so this should be 20. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we'll pull out that last 20. Oops. Would help if I put this money back, wouldn't it? Instead of mixing it all up. Okay, honeymoon. It's going to be 93. I bet I can't take it down any. Nope. That one doesn't get money very often. And a dollar at a time doesn't get you very far. Okay. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That one's not going very far either. The car feels a little thicker than normal. So we've got 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh no, there's not a 20. You know what? I bet there is over here. <laughs> Let's not get this money all mixed up. So I've got 21 too. Computer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, that one. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to pull out a five. That one's finally got a bigger denomination behind it than a dollar. So look at that. Progress, y'all. Progress. It slowly adds up. New house. Is just has seven, so we're not doing anything there. And then the wedding, let's see what we got here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then let's see what it should. Seven oh five. So is there a five dollar bill? There is. So this should be a hundred. So 50, 70, 90, 5, 96, 97, 98, $100. So we're going to just swap that out with this $100. And I'll mix all that back in here in a minute. So we've got 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, oh, five. I think next month when I have to do my condensing, 
ones like this in Christmas that have more than $500 in here, I should probably put a placeholder in those and use those bills to do my condensing. What do you guys think? And that way it's not so confusing. Okay, so that's everything. Let's see if what's right here comes out to be $350. That's a lot of bills, y'all. Let's look at it. Okay. Now we want to break out this calculator. So we've got $50. 10, oops. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. 5, 100, 105, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 130. Let's see what we got here. This is a big stack of ones, y'all. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Two. Okay. Whew. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And then hopefully this is 10. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ah, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it does come out to be 350. Thank you, Jesus. So we've got $350 here that needs to go back to the bank. Yeah, not too shabby, you guys. So, I am, now that we've got this part done, we're also going to go over the sinking funds. So, let me just set these right in here. And I'm going to um, get out my binder or my notebook so that... You can go over this with me real, real quick, and we'll find out where we're at at the end of July. Love you. Okay, I got this lined up. So, toward our Amazon Prime, the goal was to hit 147. 43 plus 18 is going to be 61. We did not spend anything out of there this time. The anniversary, we're just going to carry down... Um, the ten dollars because we actually did save up all the money between the start of the year and the anniversary to pay for that so we have actually contributed all that we had budgeted to put toward that for the year so this ten dollars should just carry forward 
Um, for appliances, we had 100, we added 25, so we're at 125. And that's got a pretty high goal on it, so we'll just keep going. Back to school, um, we had to spend some of this money. So we hit the $200 that we had planned on, but we spent 85. We've got 115, um, but we are gonna have to contribute some more to this. So this 200, while we've met it, um, we need another 200 before the start of the year for the dual credit class. So we'll just keep working toward that one. Birthdays, this one's gonna be one that I need the calculator for. So we had $57. We added 126 this month, but we also spent 142 because we had two birthdays this month. And so right now we have $41 in birthdays. Car maintenance is gonna be ugly. When I got to writing this down, I realized that I did not move the money from the emergency fund that I had planned to move here. So you're gonna see, we had 99, I added $20 and spent 167. So that puts me at negative 48. So yeah, did not have enough money to cover what was spent here. Christmas, 659, we added $78 this month and we spent 196. So that puts us at 541. That's a far cry from the 1500 that we've been hoping for, but we're only halfway through the year. We'll see if we get there or not. $200 for clothing. We had 101, we added 11. So that brings us to 112. Christ the King Picnic has $75 budgeted. We've got 77 currently in there. So I'm gonna color this one. We have met our annual obligation for this category, so I don't need to budget for it anymore. Now, it may still get some money from the savings challenges, and if it does, that's just more money for me and the grandkids and Eric to spend because all the other kids are really a little old for the picnic, but the grandkids will love it. So, okay, date night. We had $61. We're going to add $40, and we spent 38 so that brought us down to $63 total. Easter, we had six, we added five. We have $11. Um, we had $50 that we wanted to budget in here. So 12 plus 10 plus 11 plus three plus three plus five. So we're not quite there yet. We'll budget $6 in August, and then we'll have capped out what we had planned to save for Easter. Father's Day is already uh, capped out, so we didn't budget anything for this. We're just gonna carry forward the $23 that we have, and it'll roll into next year. Let me make sure you can see all of this. There you go. Okay, so gifts, we put in another $8. So right now our balance is 58. Um, we've only spent $9 out of that for the year, so we're still not at that $100 that we'd hoped to carry. And really, that's more of a cap, so we wanna save up until $100. A graduation trip is not a graduation trip anymore. We're giving $175 or this is my contribution to what um, Calvin's gonna get for graduation. And then I added $2 to the extra dollar that's in there. So this envelope has $178 in it right now, but $175 is for Calvin, and then $3 goes toward whatever travel that we end up doing whenever we pay off debts. For the grandkids, 
we've got 20, add 2, subtract 20, and that leaves us with a balance of 2. Halloween, 15 plus 9 is 24. We haven't spent any of this money yet, so we've still got $6 to budget, and we'll reach our annual cap of what we had planned to save for this year. Home improvement, 116 plus 4 is 120. That's a far cry from the $1,000 that we want in that sinking fund, but it's getting there. Honeymoon, 92 plus 1 is 93. Um, we are adjusting. I think I already adjusted this one. So we're a far cry from that. If we get extra money, we might throw some at it. 4th of July, I'm going to have to use the calculator for again. So we've got 63 plus 38 minus 56, and that gives us the 45. But if we look at it, we've got, let's see, we didn't spend any until here. So 63 plus the 38 put us just over that $100. So that one has everything in it that it's going to get for the year. Um, I hadn't been keeping up with that part, but it occurred to me when I made the July budget that um, I may not be moving on to things that I should because we're still contributing to things that we shouldn't. So that will no longer get any money from this point forward. Kids, that's more of a cap than a goal to reach, but... 3 plus 11 is 14, and that's where we're at right now on the kids. Lawn care, let's break out this calculator again. Oh, that's going to be easy because 41 minus 40 is a dollar, so really that's 259. I don't even have to do the hard math on that. The goal was to put $520. I don't know what we put in there for January, um, but most of this rolled over from the previous year. Um, so we've got 22 plus 19 plus 42 plus 20 plus 42 plus 41. That's $186, so we're pretty far from that. I don't think we have to worry about it. And we're carrying forward a pretty decent balance, so it's okay. On the license and tags, 95 plus 27 is 122. We've still got to get up to that $200. Um, litter robot, 202 and 55 is going to be 257. And of course, we just started saving on that. We're a far cry from the goal. 26 and 7 is 33. We haven't spent anything out of that this year, so we're still not there. We're almost halfway there, but not quite where I wanted to be for this time of the year. And now we are looking at the last few sinking funds. So for Mother's Day, 6 plus 5 is 11. This is one of those that I think we've put our fair share of money in this year. So 10, 12, 25, 19, 5, and 5. That's 76. So that one has met its cap for this year. Okay, new car, 21 and 1 is 22. It's a far cry from the goal, so we're just going to keep going. 5 and 3 is 8 for new computer. That's a far cry from the goal. We're going to keep going. 6 and 1 is 7. That again, very far from our goal, so we'll keep going. New Year's Eve, 27 and 11 is going to be 38. And 
We're not quite, nothing's been spent on that this year, so all of that's been saved. We're halfway to where we need to be. So, that's not too shabby. We're not far behind. 81 and 19 is 100, so I have all of the money for this category. I don't need to budget for it anymore this year. So see y'all, I'm taking things out. Okay, Sam's membership, we've got $72 toward that. And we've still got, what, $38 to go. Thanksgiving, let's see, that'll be 57. So we've got $67 towards Thanksgiving. We've got $33 to go. For Valentine's Day, 21 and 14 is 35. And like I said, this came forward from Christmas. So the only money that actually counts toward what we've saved is what we've put in. So nothing got saved here. Okay, so yeah, the 35. So we've got, what, $65 left to go to be ready for Valentine's Day. The wedding, 658 plus 47. So 705. That is far cry from the goal, but we'll get there. 31 plus 8 is 39 for beauty. Uh, that's a rolling cap. And then furniture, we've got 22 and 3 is 25. So all in all, we're not doing too shabby. Um, you all saw that some of the amounts that I put toward these are not very big, but for the most part, we're doing pretty well. We've knocked out some things, capped those out for the year. We're halfway to some of the others, which is right about where we should be. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Anyway, that's where we are for the month of July. My next video, I think, should be the July debt update, so be sure to join me for that one. In the meantime, if you're still in the mood to watch, YouTube has put the best match for you on the screen. I will see you all next time. Have a great couple of days, everybody. Bye!